Hello guys, this is Vice. So we have completed one week of Plum series successfully. We did uh, subjects and we did CSAT, we did current affairs and now episode 8. Okay, 7 days are done and now the 8th day, December 12, we started on December 5. So Monday again, uh, history is going to continue. So last week we did, we did ancient history, today we will do medieval history. So like that every uh, Monday I will try to do a different section of history so that uh, you get complete coverage. Okay. So uh, stay tuned, daily uh, 5 MCQs are going to be done and see to it that you are seeing every teacher's videos, okay, because geography, environment, polity, economy, c is done by different teachers. So again, mine also, I think uh, maybe history or something will be given to some other teachers based on their uh, time availability, okay, because most of them are working for us in the other subjects and background works and all, so that is why I cannot assign it now. And uh, these uh, many uh, playlists are there free of cost in our channel, including previous questions of prelims and means. See to it that you are watching this. And if you are a serious aspirant, you should ideally start with the foundation. And for foundation uh, videos, WhatsApp me and I'll give you the 25 foundation videos, which will actually make you understand that you are going to easily clear prelims by just studying at home with basic books and uh, Vice IST series alone. Okay. So see to it that you are contacting me. So medieval history, MCQ number one, which are the following are true about Tukaram Maharaj. He was a Varkari saint and poet and was a prominent figure in Bhakti movement. He was known for Vachana devotional poetry. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is considered to be his guru. The options are 1, 2, 3, 1 only, 1, 3 only and none of the above. So here this is uh, not asked just as a static question. June month or July month I think uh, this personality was in news and that is the reason it is being framed. UPSC always does that whenever maybe a statue is there or maybe a uh, 100th anniversary or 500th anniversary so like that when uh, a person okay historical person is there in news UPSC will ask a static question about that person so you have to tell me whether these statements all of them are true or something is wrong so your answer is given C one three only that is uh, the guru is correct and uh, he is a poet in the bhakti say, bhakti movement and uh, this uh, poetry this is wrong okay Vachana is related to another famous personality about which UPSC already have asked question in the past. So tell me in comment section, Vachana poetry is related to which personality of India? Okay. That also is in South India, I believe. So that you can go and check and tell me in comment section. And here, this person, Tukara Maharaj is uh, related with another poetry. So that we will see in the explanation part. So that is called Abhanga devotional poetry. Okay. So he was uh, famous for leading community based worship by means of spiritual songs called as Kirtans. He was a sant of Varkari Sampradaya that has lot of respect for God Vitoba. He was a part of egalitarian, that is equality, personalized Varkari devotion, uh, devotionalism tradition. Tukaram was born in modern day Maharashtra. And this is complete name. Year and uh, death and all is like still in dispute, like year of uh, birth and death. Born either in 1598 or 1608 near Pune. Born to these other parents. And these are basic information. Okay, GK facts and all UPC usually don't ask, but the Guru, because he is another Bhakti saint, uh, it's an important thing. Okay, so that you can uh, note down. And uh, this is asked because it is in news. Okay, PM Modi inaugurated a temple in Pune in Maharashtra, which is dedicated to 17th century saint Tukaram Maharaj. Okay, and again, some more details are there about this Abhanga verse and all. So please see to it that you are studying things like this because. UPSC will ask in a certain way and only certain institutes like YCIS understands that. Okay. And we also design MCQs in line with that and that repeats in the question next year. So MCQ number two, which of the following are true about Mughal paintings. Okay. A very favorite topic of UPSC. No miniatures survive from the reign of the founder of the dynasty, Babur. Babur had brought, brought artist Abd al Samad and Mir Said Ali from Central Asia. Saadi's masterpiece, the Gulistan was produced during the reign of Akbar. Aurangzeb was never an enthusiastic patron of painting. So different different rulers in their time how paintings evolved or how architecture evolved. These are a very favorite uh, topic of UPSC. Okay, not only about Mughal Empire, whether it's Guptas or Mauryas, you should know who, when, during whose time something was flourishing. Okay, some type of culture or some type of art was flourishing that you have to know about every dynasty. Culture is the most important aspect more than war. Okay, instead of you studying this uh, battle of Plassey, battle of that thing, battle of uh, different different uh, battles which you study, right? Panipat. Instead of that, cultural part of different different rulers is the favorite topic of UPSC. Okay, that is my observation in uh, the last few years of uh, uh, solving UPSC questions. Okay, so options 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, none of these. Meaning either everything has to be correct or at least one has to be wrong or maybe everything is wrong. Okay, as per the options given. 
so here if you are a very serious aspirant at least ncrt you have read okay at least ncrt class 7th and class uh, 12th uh, part 2 textbook if you have read you can solve this question you don't need any other very very big big textbooks to solve this so here answer is b 1 3 and 4 because this alone okay this is not barber's statement this is somebody else that i'll show you okay but the um, other the other three that is barber's time miniatures doesn't exist now and uh, akbar time only this gulistan payment painting was done and uh, aurangzeb was never interested in painting those three are true statements so if you see barber no miniatures survive okay detailed notes are there so i cannot read everything the second statement is actually it's not barber it is humayun okay so he was the one who brought this uh, artist uh, from Iran. Okay, because you know, uh, 1532, 1540, he was there. Then uh, Sher Shah Suri will attack and then he had to run away to Iran. Okay, then from there when he comes back, okay, in 1555 when he comes back, he brings back these paintings, pa so painters. Okay, so that is why you should know this kind of basic stories. If you know itself, you can solve all these questions. Okay, remaining everything, please uh, pause and read because I have detailed notes. This is Babar and Humayun. This is the entire Akbar's painting time, Akbar and Jahangir. If you see, detailed painting uh, related thing is there. See, this masterpiece during akbar time okay and uh, akbar uh, translated many things okay many of the hindu scriptures and all into uh, the persian uh, language and all he has changed many things so many personalities you know the nine gems navratna of akbar court they were all playing a very important uh, role during his uh, timeline okay so you have to know all these things i cannot read it out entirely my students who are enrolled to the test series it will be there okay this will be there in the uh, history uh, test series okay this will be there and jahangir again if you see the uh, uh, brush became finer the colors became lighter european influence comes because you know that is the time when europeans also came okay the 16th uh, 17th century exactly if you see 1605 to 1625 is the time when europeans the britishers were entering india also so like that the influence will be obviously seen portrait painting started king and queen paintings and many uh, life event are there birds animals nature related thing and then his uh, book okay biopic kind of book in that also many pictures and paintings are there so like that you have to know and after jahangir you know obviously uh, the next person shah jahan and aurangzeb will come shah jahan's time again the architecture and everything was at its peak you know even taj mahal was uh, made so like that his uh, book okay in that also illustrations are there and then out after that aurangzeb was not interested he was the one or from there only mughal decline also started he was not interested in anything he was uh, trying to make it a more orthodox kind of kingdom okay because akbar and all was like a kind of secular person but aurangzeb onwards it is more of a muslim oriented uh, kingdom and he was trying to make it more orthodox okay so that is why the kingdom also uh, did not flourish further and after that uh, the paintings and all revived during uh, muhammad shah okay who was also called rangila these are all in my spectrum lectures i have taught you and then shah alam these two people tried to bring it but after that mughal painting lost its glory okay so like this detailed notes is there in my test series pdf so please serious aspirant i tell you you should enroll because these are lifetime validity pdf even if you fail this year next year also you can use okay so every year till you clear your upsc vice is going to help you if you enroll at once so medieval history question number three about which indian queen did marco polo say the following first thing is you can go and find out who is marco polo when did he come to india and all these things so it is subject to queen of great wisdom whose husband died 40 years ago and her love to him was such that she never married again during the whole term she has ruled the nation with great equity and has been beloved beyond measure by the people so about whom did marco polo tell this options are razia sultan rudrama devi rani padmini or devi ahalya so again all these four have been there in UPSC options in the past. So individually you have to know their timelines, uh, what are their specialties, why are they there in the historical uh, context, it is important. Everything you have to know. Okay, it's not like you only study the right answer. You have to always study the wrong answer because that can be the right answer next year. Meaning UPSC will form the questions based on the wrong answers of this year in the next year. Okay, so here answer is Rudrama Devi. Okay, so here if you see this particular Google document, Google book is where this actually I found out when I was researching on the question about this uh, Motupalli, okay, Motupalli port which UPSC asked, okay, UPSC asked like which is the most important uh, uh, port of Kakatiya dynasty, something like that a question came, a very weird question and that year everybody were marking Masuli Patnam or something as the answer, but it is actually Motupalli which came as the answer key. So I was researching on that PDF and in that same I found this thing, okay, about Marco Polo was telling about Rudrama Devi in this particular, uh, this thing, in this particular article. So I thought like why not make a question on that, because if UPSC have seen this 
document once they will see the document again they will ask questions again from the same document so that is how we make questions okay we follow upsc strictly and whatever they follow we also try to follow okay that is why because people ask like how can 100 plus marks come from your test series you are just bluffing you are doing we are getting this 100 plus marks because we are strictly following upsc okay we are not just simply following syllabus or textbook we are following upsc previous year papers and how they frame questions okay so about rudrama devi marco polo had said this kakatiya ruler and about kakatiya kingdom also south indian kingdoms especially upsc is every year now asking two two questions so you have to study in detail okay so this again from my test series students can study more okay so next one fourth question which are the following are true about bada imambara about which uh, recently question came in upsc so it was built by various rulers of delhi sultanate starting from althamish its basic design was inspired from the works of amir khusro it was one of the last major projects not incorporating any european elements or the use of iron okay so three statements are given uh, question actually about baraimbara and i think uh, some red fort or something it came okay even the material used like uh, it uses white marble it uses red sap sandstone that kind of very detailed question you pese was recently so you have to know the architectural thing as i told again culture okay culture is what you have to study in ancient and medieval more than the battles and wars they have fought okay so options 1 2 only 1 only 3 only or 1 2 3 okay Like who started it the design and then the whether it has european influence this is what is asked so answer is c 3 only okay so it is not built by various leaders of delhi sultanate and all this is like a very old timeline that is not correct and design also it was by i think an auction method or something it was done and not by the works of amir khusro so 1 and 2 is wrong and third one is correct it was one of the last major projects not incorporating any european elements or the use of iron okay so here if you see also known as asfi mosque okay in lucknow and it was built by asafuddaula nawab of awadh in 1784 okay so it's not a very old building uh, like we tell althamish and althamish like slave dynasty 13th century and this is like uh, objectives okay provide a lot of employment to people and other things you can study all these basic basic things okay how much money was used in decoration and all and the design was obtained through a competitive process okay and the winner was some delhi architect uh, kifayatullah and it's nothing to do with amir khusro or his designs okay and then the roof is made up of rice husk which makes it a unique building then uh, building includes this uh, bulbulaya and the bowli a step well okay these are the certain certain things which is there inside this that's a badshahi mosque last major projects not incorporating any european design and then uh, here there's a roomy darwaza then two imposing gateways that is west facing entrance so these are basic facts which i could pick up in wikipedia you can find it more but i am taking only the best things which i thought upsc has a chance of asking okay so this is the detail about bara mambara last question which are the following are true about foreign travelers francois bernier and jean baptiste travenier this is again repeated questions by upsc travelers are the favorite area when it comes to upsc and uh, when it comes to foreigners so please see to it that you study okay, the chinese travelers the italian travelers the french travelers so here the statements are both lived in the same century both were french travelers both of them had visited the mogul rulers so this kind of question if you study the benefit is you are comparatively studying two personalities and it's easy for you to memorize okay so 1 3 only 1 2 only 2 3 only 1 2 3 so here if a very serious aspirant means it's a very simple question the answer here is d 1 2 3 okay because both are there in the Uh, 17th century okay here if you see francois bernier 1620 to 1688 and this person is earlier 1605 to 1689 okay so both are 17th century that is correct both are from france that is also correct and both of them has visited mughal okay here i think he visited the court of aurangzeb and here he visited the court of maybe jahangir will be there okay somewhere here jahangir or shah jahan some one will be there okay so travenier actually this uh, travenier i think uh, related to some uh, uh, diamond something something was there okay like he was the one who visited diamond or uh, diamond mine in india something like that a statement came very recently one year back or two year back a upsc uh, question came okay so see he came in the time of uh, shah jahan okay he visited the court of shah jahan and see first trip to the diamond mines so this diamond mine statement actually came in upsc prelims uh, 2020 or 21 okay very recently it came so that is why upsc is not leaving any topic okay because many coaching classes will tell like that is not important this is not important but if you follow upsc question papers you will understand that there are certain topics which you cannot skip and one of them is travelers their books and all these things okay this time mostly i am predicting a question will come 
on an Arabian traveler, okay, maybe who come, come from Middle East or who came from Africa, one traveler related one book or a question will come in the prelims 2023, okay, if it doesn't come in 23, in 24 it will come and that is my prediction because Chinese traveler and French travelers asked next Arabian or a Middle East traveler question is going to come. Okay, so please prepare it seriously. In YCIS, I will give you a revision chart. In revision chart, all the travelers and their date and thing like that in column wise, I will give you. Okay, revision chart is part of the test series. You don't need to enroll separately. Test series enrolled students will get them. So, this is the question number 5. So, again as I told, watching Plum series alone will not help you clear the prelims. You have to solve a lot of things. If you are learning history, you have to study all these textbooks. Spectrum, Ara Sharma, Satish Chandra, Nitin Singhania, Tamil Nadu textbook. Okay. These are the standard textbook other than NCRT. And many ask, can I study Bipin Chandra? Bipin Chandra, I will tell it's more needed for mains. I am telling for prelims aspect, Spectrum is the best one. Okay. Then NCRT is class 6 to 8 is needed. Then you can skip class 9, 10, 11 and do class 12. Okay. This is again, I am telling for prelims aspect. For mains, you can do the other textbooks as well. Then world history again for mains. Norman Law is a foreign author. Arjun Dev is an Indian author. Both are fine. Okay. Then learn according to timeline. The more easily you can solve questions if you know the timeline correctly. Like if you know Kakatya came, then the other one came, or then the other one came, or Maurya came, then Gupta came, uh, then Harsha came, after Harsha, the next one will come. So 6, 7, 8th century. Like that, if correctly timeline, if you know, and which timeline is Buddha existing, Buddha met who all, or Jainism, Buddhism, are they in the same timeline? If you know timeline, you can easily solve many questions because elimination will be there. Okay, you can easily eliminate. Okay, so please see that you study in timeline, practice the names, chronology, culture, the books by them and events at the last. Okay, meaning the war and all these things at the last. But this is the order of priority, the names, chronology, culture, books and then only events. Okay, this is how you study history. Okay, and history, we have the highest number of tests in the entire country, I can tell. Okay, all the textbook based questions are there. Okay, whether Spectrum, Mara Sharma, NCRT Spectrum, uh, this uh, Nitin Zingania, and history full test is also there, which mixes up all the questions and give you. So, 16 test of history is there. And as a separate pack also, you can buy history because I know most people find history very, very difficult. That is why I am putting Spectrum as separate. Four test will be there where, as I showed you that Akbar Jangir explanation and all, like that every topic will have explanation. 400 questions with detailed solution, detailed explanation will be there under each question. So, Spectrum 4 PDF is there, RS Sharma Satish Chandra 4 PDF is there or then uh, NCRT as I told, 6 to 8 there is 1 PDF and class 12 there is 1 PDF. So, that 2 PDFs are there. Then Art and Culture, NCRT Fine Arts, that is class 11th plus uh, the uh, previous year questions based 2 test is there, Nitin Singhania based 2 test is there. Okay. So, 4 test. So, as a combo, this together will be 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 2, sorry, 10 plus 4, 14 plus 2 full tests. So, 16 test, 16 PDF. Uh, that is 1600 MCQs, detailed explanation, you can buy this combo and that is the best seller also, okay, because history as I told, many people find it very, very difficult because Lakshmi Kant is there for polity, but for history, there are many textbooks that you cannot study everything in a single place, that is why you enroll to Vaishaya's test PDF and as I told, it's lifetime validity, okay, it will help you learn everything about history which UPSC is going to ask, okay, static part I am telling. So, please see to it that you are a serious aspirant means you have to join Vaishaya's, else again, slowly, slowly you can study from a plum series because free 5 5 questions will be done, but the serious aspirant parents who have enrolled will be studying more number of questions than you in a day. That is the only difference. Okay. You are studying a little slower. They are studying a little faster. Okay. So, subscribe and stay tuned. Tomorrow, the next episode will come. Okay. Thank you and have a nice day.